Well, I haven't seen a church sign in quite a while that I made a video about, but I'm going to make one with this one. This one says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and, and lean not on your own understanding. Boy, that would get a person in trouble right there. If he didn't quite understand what that was saying. <laughs> Let's see what it says on this side. Do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord <laughs> and something evil. Shun evil. Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shun that church over there because um, that kind of that kind of talk scares me. It's our understanding in Christ gives us the ability to rise up in this world with the resurrected power of the I Am. It's not a church doctrine. It's the awakening. It happens when a mind wakes up that there's nothing outside of us that's going to bring us or give us salvation. And if I'm wrong about that, well, I'm the happiest there ever been in my life because I'm not leaning on the understanding of a preacher to tell me what to think and do, how to be. I'm becoming a heretic in the eyes of many, many church members. We got so many churches in here this area you know it's like this if they would just read and understand other books other than the King James version of what they're told about the gospel and really understood that it was a mind control mechanism by the Illuminati in the deep state to keep their minds so confused and watered down that while they're taking all our rights away like they, they're doing and they even take pastors in and train them train them on what's going to happen when this big shift of the ages occurs yes there is a shift coming and it'll be the shift for this age can't tell you how it's going to go down but I can tell you this you need at least six months worth of food and more. Think about how much water you need for you and your whole family. If the water system was cut off or polluted, the church ain't telling you what to do. But the Latter-day Saints, they got actually got a website where you can put in how many family members you got and then it'll tell you how many gallons you need. Now, I'm not saying the Church of Latter-day Saints has the whole picture, but they got a good understanding. So does the Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't have the whole thing, but they got a piece. It's just weird. When you come to thinking about the mind control in, in the mainstream media and how they can twist everything to make a person give up faith in the government, faith in everything. I'll, go, I'll be the first one to say I have no faith in the government. I pay allegiance to no flag. That flag has been abused, misused, and millions of people have died under flags. It's ridiculous. Now, I don't like borders, but it ain't time to do away with all borders. we got to have strong borders right now. When all of these dumbasses wake up and realize what Jesus was saying, if you've done it to yourself, you've done it to you, the oneness that we are has to be taught. It ain't been taught. When that oneness is taught and that equality with the I am for each man in his own time, his own order to awaken, then the borders will always, already be coming down. But we're a long way from that. This kind of mess they got us in right now is not doing anybody any good, except it is making some people dig deep and think about what is the Illuminati, what is the deep state, 
what is the control mechanism that could lie to us about our religion, our history, our education. Everything that we've ever been told is a lie. I hate to say it like that because most of y'all don't understand what I'm saying, but it is. There's one lie right after another. History is one of the biggest lies. I'm doing my investigation about the Tatarian Empire started over in Russia and went all around the world, built monuments, built state capitals in the United States thousands of years ago. And then we had a cataclysm and the, the history was changed. The victors overthrew the ones of enlightenment age back then, killed them all, changed history. But that's a story for another, <laughs> another video. It is an interesting story though. I've got a link in, uh, in my videos and the in, uh, playlist talks about the Tartarian Empire and it talks about mud flood. If you haven't looked up mud flood, it's, it's really interesting understanding uh, how often these cataclysms seem to come around. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll leave you with this church sign. We can never be thankful enough. Well, that's a Baptist point of view right there. Wow, that's a general Baptist church. Let's see what this side says. And then, we can never be, well, it's just duplicate. It just duplicated for the other side. That's that's a Baptist person for you. <laughs> well, I think it's something twice. Let's just do the same thing. That's, that's that Paul thinking. That's what that'll get you. All right, people. I got to get on down this walk.